Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, I am sure some people of Port Orford, Oregon had a bit of a shocking surprise with the earthquakes that are occurring there in their location. It started out with a magnitude 4.5 with a depth of only 16.6 .6 kilometers near Elk River Road. That's only about 10 miles in depth. 463 people reported feeling this earthquake. The initial P wave, the first wave of the earthquake, came from the south, uh, slightly west, and the fault line moved up. Tension was applied uh, going east, basically straight up. Using Google Earth, you can see we got two homes right here where we had the 4.5 and later a uh, 3.5. Yeah, I'm sure it gave them quite a start. Look at that. Right next to, uh, oh, that's probably some sheds or, or barns there. This wasn't very far from Highway 101. This is Highway 101 over here on the left. The USGS did a scenario for this area. Wales Head Fault Zone is capable of having a magnitude 7.0 earthquake. Here we have Grants Pass and I'll try and pull this in a little bit closer. Crescent City. Can you see some of these lines are uh, pretty faint. Um, Red Coast National Park. This, cap this area is capable of having a mega thrust earthquake meaning um, great uplift. The fault lines don't gently move past each other, but suddenly uh, move yeah, with great uplift. The 3.5 occurred at about 8.58 local time. 43 people reported feeling that one, whereas the 4.5 occurred at about 5.45 local time or 1.45 universal time. The 4.5 was reportedly felt in Grants Pass, um, upper, close to Upper Klamath Lake, Klamath Falls, and we got reports all the way up there at Eugene, and as far south as Brookings. The 3.5 was reported as far as Coos Bay. Um, you can see there's smaller pockets here that it was more than likely felt but people didn't call it in and we got gold beach down south or i should say people didn't report it on the usgs did you feel it website this is an area where i've talked about in the past where the fault zone is locked meaning great tension is built up has built up a little bit farther south here we have the gorda plate and then of course we got the Mendocino Triple Junction plate and then we got the Juan de Fuca uh, fault zone and then this here where the coloring changes would be the Cascadia fault zone all this stress has built up because of the Juan de Fuca fault zone is trying to slide underneath the Cascadia fault zone this is why we got uplift through here and once it decides to suddenly release in a mega thrust earthquake yeah you would have areas that would collapse you would have landslides um, yeah it would be quite disastrous their scenario for a um, 7.0 earthquake I think would actually be felt over a much larger area than what they're reporting and by the movement of the fault zone you can see that the Cascadia fault zone is trying to move west um, but it's being blocked because of that pressure because it's not moving so we got uplift which is creating the mountains the hills and once that's released it's gonna suddenly just drop down and everything's gonna move west they have found that the bedrock down by Coos Bay has been folded going towards a northern direction because of the east-west faulting of the Cascadia fault zone. 
besides more than likely damage to Highway 101, you got the gas lines uh, throughout this area. They also expect uh, great movement from a mega thrust earthquake and sliding along the coast. In my opinion, the 7.0 earthquake and its destruction that it would cause and how far out it would actually be felled uh, is greatly underestimated, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, the North American plate, you're not going to stop it from moving, and they're not going to stop the uh, Juan de Fuca fault um, from moving underneath the North American plate. And this is just another indication that that pressure has built and eventually something's got to give. Like I said, I'm sure a lot more people felt the 3.5 than reported it. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please subscribe. Thank you for your support. See you now YouTube demonetized me. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.